Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. I'm red because I just finished my workout that I'm about to be showing you guys. I'm out of breath, but I'm trying to control it. Anyway, today's workout is a pedal bell only workout. Don't mind my nasty trash in the back and this clutter of a mess. I really should have cleaned. But anyway, so it's a kettlebell only workout. I'm using two kettlebells. If you only have one, you can totally just use one. One kettlebell you see me using most of the time is 12 pounds, and the other is, I believe, 30, 35 pounds. So anyway, this is a super easy, just a little full round of like, I'd say pretty much your full body. It literally took about 10 minutes and I feel like I burned a whole lot of calories. I'm still out of breath. I really wish I would have worn my Fitbit to track how much calories I burned, but right now I really, I don't really care. But for your guys' sake, I wish I would have. Um, but anyway, so like I said, I'm only using two kettlebells. If you only have one, go for it. You can obviously do this at the gym too. I don't know if I would use this as like just only this for an entire workout. Like I said, it's only about 10 minutes. So maybe you could use it as a warm up or just like kind of your cool down or just use it as a normal workout. So anyway, if you guys like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I recently did start like kind of an exercise fitness log on my channel, you could say. I have just been not too happy with where I'm at um, and I can just feel myself getting slower and not as much energy. So I have really kind of taken it upon myself to get back to the gym and start working out continuously and just get a little bit more discipline into my life. So I have been going, it's been going pretty good for the most part. Over the weekend, I didn't go at all and I felt really poopy about myself, but I went Monday, I went Tuesday, it is currently Wednesday right now. I just did a little workout, but I'm probably gonna go tonight again. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you guys are gonna use this or if it helped you or anything like that. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching and let's just get right into the workout. All right guys, so for the first clip of each exercise, it's just gonna be at a normal speed so you can really see what I'm doing for my technique and how fast I'm actually going. So me doing it like super fast doesn't confuse you, but right now for the first one, we're doing kettlebell swings. Now I did 20 of these three times. Each of these exercises is done three times. I'm sure most of you are familiar with kettlebell swings. The only tip I have for you guys, again, I'm no professional, but to control the weight and don't let it just fly over your head. If it goes way over your head, I believe you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I learned this one when I went to CrossFit and it is absolutely one of my favorite exercises. It's a kettlebell sit up so you're literally just using a kettlebell and you have it like kind of compressed to your chest and each time you go up you're just pushing it out. So you're working your abs and you're working those shoulders. For the next exercise, of course I had to incorporate a squat somewhere. This is a kettlebell sumo squat. Sumo means you have a very wide stance and you're targeting more of like your outer glutes and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm also pulsing with this one. So it's definitely a deadly exercise. I mean, I love the exercise. I would highly recommend it if you guys haven't already. Next up, I truly do not know what this one is called, but you have the kettlebell right in between your legs and your arm that is picking it up goes from the inside of it and kind of twists out and lifts up. Your opposite arm is just straight away. I'm horrible at describing anything, I apologize. But you're doing eight sets of these or eight reps of these for each arm.
guys so that is the end of my little workout video again kettlebell only of course you can do this at the gym you can do it at home that's why I just I love working out at home like because I never wear shorts to the gym like I just don't like my leg and I don't like people <laughs> this is so contradictory I don't like people looking at my legs but I'm wearing shorts in a video anyway I just like it it's just super laid back however sometimes a tricky part for me is to actually like get my full level of intensity maybe some of you guys can relate but I'm a very competitive person and when I do actually go to the gym, I'm just competitive. So I work a little bit harder than the person right next to me, which is doesn't sound that great, but I mean, it's true. I'm just telling the truth. And I've actually learned quite a lot of these moves from CrossFit. I used to go to CrossFit. I just went for one month in the summer and it showed me so much. Like I absolutely loved those classes because you were in a group setting and everybody around you again was super competitive. So you didn't wanna be the person to finish last. So you would just push yourself even more. So I highly recommend those classes. Like I, I had a whole stigma of CrossFit, but that kind of turned it down after those classes. It was so much fun. Anyway, sorry for me rambling on. If you guys did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and my channel grow, so I really do appreciate it. I also have an Instagram, and that's just at Hannah Garski. For those wondering, I did change midway, and my little pullover is from Buff Bunny. This is the Namaste pullover. I do have an affiliate code, and that's just Hannah. If you use that, I really appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Um, I really don't have much else to say. Just please let me know what you guys want to see next down below in the comments. I'm going to go take a shower. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.